Oh, hello! Hi, I didn't see you there. I'm Mermaid Liv. A little fishy told me that you've been having a rough time. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sending my mermaid love all the way from the sea to you. How about we read a fun story together? It's called The Little Mermaid, A Whale of a Time. <laughs> One day, Ariel and Flounder were looking for treasures under the sea. Suddenly, Flounder stopped and said, Ariel, do you hear something? Like what? Ariel asked. Like that! Flounder cried, pointing to a large shape making squeaky noises. What could it be? Ariel moved closer for a better look. Hey, she said beaming, it's a whale! An adorable baby gray whale! But where is the baby's family? Ariel asked. This little guy must be lost. We should take him to the palace right away. Yes, King Triton will know what to do, Flounder said. Very smart. At the palace, King Triton knew exactly what to do. I'll send out a search party to look for the whale's family, Triton told Ariel and Flounder. You two can take care of him until we find them. Oh, he's a very cute whale. Just a little baby whale. As Ariel and Flounder happily swam off with the baby whale, Sebastian the crab called after them, Have fun babysitting! The babysitters took the whale to meet some of their friends. Soon they found a school of angelfish that wanted to play tag. But when the baby whale flopped his giant tail, whoosh! Every angelfish behind him went flying! Maybe you're too big for this game, Ariel said with a laugh. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's play hide and seek, Flounder suggested. But the baby whale couldn't find anything big enough to hide behind. We'll find some other way to have fun, Ariel told the whale. I know, Ariel said. You can come with me to singing rehearsal at the palace. But when they reached the stage door, Ariel could see that the baby whale just wouldn't fit through. Don't be sad, she told him. You can watch from here. The baby whale loved the chorus. In fact, he loved it so much that he joined in singing. But the whale's song was so loud that everyone else's voice was drowned out. Uh-oh. I think your voice is a little too loud for our chorus, Ariel said gently as she helped the baby out of the doorway. Come on, Flounder. Help me take him outside. The whale kept singing happily as after they left the whale kept singing happily as they left the palace. Ariel, I hear something in the distance, Flounder said, and it's coming closer. Why, it sounds like the baby whale's song, but even louder, Ariel cried. Look, cried Flounder as two huge whales swam toward them. It's the baby whale's parents, Ariel exclaimed. They must have heard him singing and they've come to get him. The little gray whale answered his parents with squeaks and squeals of joy. Oh, so wonderful. A happy ending. King Triton ordered that a celebration be held in honor of the happy reunion. All the creatures of the sea joined in. The seahorses rocked, the starfish shimmied, and the pufferfish puffed. And of course, the whale sang their happiest song. Hours later, the celebration was over, and the whale family waved goodbye and swam off. You know, Flounder said, for a little baby, he sure was a big handful. Yes, he was, Ariel agreed. But taking care of him together was also big fun. The end. I hope that made you feel a little bit better. Sending love from all the sea.